So today we are going to be doing a first time ever reaction from this YouTube channel, Sally from Germany. We are going to be checking out five things German do that American find weird. I'm so excited and yet curious to be doing this one with you guys. But if you're new here, I am Stella. Please consider liking, subscribing to the channel. Also, feel free to support this channel via the Buy Me Coffee link below. And I'm also very active on Patreon. Germany and the US have a lot in common, and moving here wasn't really a huge culture shock. They're both Western cultures, but every now and then, there are these situations where we see someone from the other country do something, and we just have huge question marks in our eyes. <laughs> yeah, I get that feeling. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli, I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but I've been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. And when you live in another country, another culture, you'll inevitably have these moments where you see an object or a place or see a person do something and just think to yourself, wow. That's weird. And of course, this goes both ways. <laughs> when Ben came to Germany with me for the first time, there were lots of things that he found weird. And he's not alone with that. Even here, I sometimes get weird looks for some of my German behaviors. And you guessed it, I wrote down a whole list of those things. And today I'll tell you about the top five things that are normal to Germans, but weird to Americans. Hey, where's your trash? Oh, this doesn't go into the trash. Just put it into the basket next to the door. Thank you. Oh, do you need these for some kind of art project or something? No, nope, it's just where I keep all my empty bottles and cans. Okay. Yes, Germans collect empty bottles too. and cans at home, which is definitely something that people from the US and other countries have to get used to at first. Even I have to get used to it whenever I'm back home. I sometimes accidentally crush soda cans because I'm so used to doing that here to save space in the recycling bin. But in Germany, that's a huge no-go. Because the reason why Germans collect these bottles and cans is that Germany has a deposit system, a Pfandsystem. This means that yeah, the profile where you recycle your vessel and get something as a reward. Absolutely very When cool. buying beverages in bottles, glass or plastic, or in cans, you'll pay a few cents extra. You won't really notice it though since it's already included in the price. And then you'll get that money back when you return the empty bottles and cans to the store. And this usually happens at these machines that you'll find at grocery stores called Pfandautomat. You just put your bottles and cans in there and the machine scans the barcode. That's why you can't crush them because otherwise it won't be able to read the code. And then when you're done, it prints out a voucher for you that you can then cash at the checkout. And since most people don't really want to carry around one or two empty bottles at a time and get a lame 50 cents back, people usually collect them at home and wait until it's really worth it. And then they bring a whole basket or whole bags to the store and get like a 10 euro voucher. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> the amount of the deposit differs by the way, depending on whether it's a refillable bottle, for those you usually get eight or 15 cents back, a disposable plastic bottle, which is 25 cents, or an aluminum can, also 25 cents. Can I do the schnitzel and just a Coke, please? Thank you. Oh, they forgot the ice. Yeah, that's not really common here. You're gonna have to ask for ice. Excuse me, could I get ice in this? Thank you. Two ice cubes? Another thing that Germans do that <laughs> Americans find a little weird is drinking beverages without ice. That's just not something that's common in Germany or in other European countries. At least not to that extent. If you ask for ice, it'll be more like in that scene that you'll get a few ice cubes, while Americans are more used to this. I mean, cocktails and things like that are served with ice in Germany as well, but again, it'll just be a few ice cubes as opposed to the whole glass being filled up with ice. But water or soda or juice spritzers won't usually come with ice at all. Now, from our perspective, this doesn't mean that we drink our beverages warm. It's just that it's enough for us when they come out of the fridge or a cold basement. In some cases, even just room temperature is fine. And yes, even though I've lived in the US for six years now, I still don't put ice in my drinks. And I often find the iced water at restaurants, for example, way too cold, like it's uncomfortable in my mouth. And if it's a drink I pay for, like at Starbucks or something, I'd rather get my money's worth and not get a cup full of frozen water with just a few ounces of the actual drink. But 
I'm pretty alone with that here. And I think just like I haven't started putting tons of ice into my drinks, even though I've lived in the US for years now, Ben will never stop doing it. When we were in Germany and he wanted to get a fountain Coke at McDonald's, he forgot to ask for ice. And then when we had already walked out, he noticed that it didn't have any ice at all. And he was really disappointed. One thing that wasn't necessarily weird to me before I moved here, but definitely not an everyday thing, was using a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. I mean, some of my friends in Germany use VPNs to watch the newest episodes of American shows that hadn't come out in Germany. Germany yet, but that's about it. Today I use one all the time and the one that I've been using for years now and that I trust is ExpressVPN, which is also today's sponsor. And ExpressVPN isn't only my favorite one, but it's even been rated the number one VPN provider by technology websites like CNET, The Verge, Mashable, TechRadar, and more. The two main situations I use it in is when I'm on a public Wi-Fi, like at a coffee shop or at the airport, to protect my internet connection and my personal information from hackers and when I want to watch TV shows or movies that aren't available in the US. In that case, I can just log into a server in another country. You can pick from a list of 94 countries and then I can access the internet as if click the link in the info box below. What do you want to do for dinner? It's your first night. Ooh, can we go to a real American diner? No problem, there's one super close by, like a mile down the street. Oh, perfect, that'll be a nice little walk. Walk? No, we were gonna drive. Walking for over 15 minutes to get to your destination? Normal for Germans? weird to Americans, especially to those who don't live in a huge city. Your car is what gets you around in the US and even for short distances, you won't see a lot of Americans walk if they don't have to. It's even considered unsafe in many places. The US is simply a car country. In most places, even in mid-sized cities like Cincinnati, there's always enough parking spots so you can really drive anywhere you want to go without really thinking about it. Most stores and restaurants even have their own parking lots and you can do countless things without ever leaving your car in this country. You can get food in drive throughs you can get coffee, you can get cash from drive through ATMs, even liquor from drive through liquor stores. So really anything you want. Germany, on the other hand, isn't a car country. Most of our cities and towns were built before cars even existed and we also don't have as much space for parking spots. So so getting around with public transport, by bike, and walking is pretty normal for us. At least in urban areas. In rural areas, it's a little different. But in Munich, for example, it'll most likely be quicker to walk 20 minutes than taking a car, getting through the traffic, taking forever to find a parking spot, and then walking to your destination from the parking yeah. spot. Plus, many Germans also simply enjoy being active and being out in the fresh air. That's the girl's bathroom. There's a sign that says, uh, sit down to pee. Oh, no, you were right. That's the men's bathroom. What? Okay, so to this topic, I've actually dedicated a <laughs> whole video before, so make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it. But yes, in Germany, it's common for men to sit down to pee, while in the US, most people are not only completely shocked when they find out about this, but also find it really weird. And I understand that that's Very a weird, weird thought if you've grown up your whole life thinking that all men pee standing up and that's just how it is, period. Like, it's okay that that's weird to Americans at first, as long as you don't get started with insecure comments like, oh, it's unmanly to sit down to pee. I hope we can all agree that that's complete bullshit. But back to the topic, in Germany, most men sit down to pee at home to avoid a mess. It's also supposed to be healthier for your prostate. And this is also what's expected of you when you're using someone else's bathroom in Germany. And yes, even public bathrooms might have a little sticker or sign asking you to sit down to pee. Might be weird to Americans, but it's normal to us Germans. Is a real mystery, even to me the German stare. To be honest, before I came to the US, I didn't even know that that was a thing. But after being away from Germany for a while, I suddenly noticed that Germans do this thing where they just look at you and don't stop. 
in a way that I wasn't used to it anymore from the US. And I noticed that I did it too. And I don't know if this has to do with German directness, that we're just curious, looking at people and thinking <laughs> nothing of it, or if there's another reason behind it. But I do know that many expats who come to Germany find this really weird and uncomfortable. And I've had to explain to many Americans that no, they're not staring at you because you look American or they don't like you. It's something they just do. And they're probably not even aware of it, like myself, because it's just something that's kind of normal in Germany. And that was the last point on my list for today. I'm sure I'll share some more of these with you in the future, but for now, let me know if you've ever had any similar experiences yourself. Like, have you ever lived abroad or traveled somewhere and were baffled by something that the locals seem to consider the most normal thing? Put it in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and like what I do here on my channel, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It's completely free and it basically just means that my videos and posts will show up on your YouTube page every now and then. And if you even like to get notified whenever I post a new video, you can just activate the little notification bell next to the subscribe button and activate notifications in your YouTube settings. You can also find me on social media. On Instagram, I share things from my everyday life, but also little rants about- Honestly, guys, I find this mess down to pee really, really weird. Yeah. I know she said in the video it's good for their postures, but at the same time, I just find that weird, yeah. I don't have to give my reasons why I think that is weird. But yeah, this is actually very informative and um I still see what people find a shock and I think the um staring stuff is going to be a shocker for me because over here we don't stare at people and just keep our eyes fixed on them. We stare stylishly, stare, look away, we rather look back, look away, look back, look away, just back and forth with the staring. We don't actually fix our eyes and I'm staring at you. No, you're gonna be asked questions. Why are you looking at me that way? What's wrong with my outfit and stuff like that? But yeah, this is very informative and very insightful. And let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Do not forget to like, subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys on my next one. Bye, loves.